Welcome back to Destination Playdate. I am your host, Attack Slug. Today's video is a game called Life's Too Short on itch.io, sideloaded. It is $1, and it is a adventure game where you are a ghost trying to play marriage counselor to some vampires who are having some issues. And it is very adventure game-ish, and kind of in a maniac mansion type vibe. So, the one glaring issue here at the start is that there is no current save function as I record this video. So I am back at the very start here in this game, but once you know what to do, you can kind of go through the puzzles as you do. So, hello there, little master. I'm so glad you're here. They've been fighting and shouting and locked themselves in their coffins. Please, can you help us put things right and get them to talk to each other again? This place is falling apart. So, here we are in the mansion, I end this little ghost. Uh, again, there is no crank functionality currently. I can crank here and it's not going to do anything. And that, I think, as more folks get actual consoles in their hands, I think more games will use the crank. But right now, no crank in this. I'm a ghost. Let's explore. So, the one main goal at the beginning is getting five gems for this suit of armor. There are five gem-shaped spaces, much like a Resident Evil. And right here on the bookshelf... That's not a book. That's right. It's a gem. So one gem off the bat, we're good. But otherwise, this door here is locked and that armor looks awfully suspicious. So in true adventure game fashion, we are poking around, prodding around, and interacting with the environment to see what is there to hopefully find and puzzle out and see what the deal is. And some doors open and some doors do not. So this witch right here in the poster, hmm has a cough. Continuous coughing. Well, I think we can solve that if we continue to poke around. So this door is open. This chest of drawers here, this armoire, this cupboard has a small lock and I can hear some giggling. Now, some lights you can turn off, but you can't walk away yet because even being a ghost, you're still afraid of the dark. Better turn it back on. So I'm sure at some point that does something. I don't know what yet. I haven't gotten quite that far. This door in the middle is locked. This door over here is unlocked in the bathroom. There is some snake skin in the garbage can. Hmm, leave it alone. Also, you don't want to open the lid of that toilet, trust me. But opening the curtain, oh, it's a snake. It's a snake. Now I can give the snake a gem. The snake does not want a gem, I can assure you. Hello there, spooky little ghost. I am exceedingly hungry. Since ghosts don't hold many calories, I want you to help me. So, get a craving for airborne rodents. Take this hairnet and catch me some 10 of the flying critters. So, I need 10 airborne rodents of some type. Also, in the medicine cabinet, some cough medicine. Hmm, who could use that cough medicine? I wonder. Could it be the witch in the poster? Well then, let's go to the poster and hand the witch the medicine. There we go. Puzzle solved. She chugs the whole bottle and then says, Thank you, dearie. So the cough is sorted. Here you go. Have my broom. She's a witch. Get a broom. That broom comes in handy. Now, if I had earlier walked down here and to the right, there are spiders, right? But now, but now, I have a broom. So, run, he has a broom, there go the spiders, and we're good there. That's not a problem. Now, in the cabinet, we got some milk. Got milk? Okay, so, got some milk. There is a blender here in the middle to blend things, so I can't really blend a net, a broom, or a gem at the moment. Uh, there are a sink here with a cleaning cloth. Hmm. All right. So there's that. Then over here we have, oh, look at that. Gem number two. All right. But otherwise, spices besides garlic, because, you know, vampires. And, uh, you know, other just clicking on things and getting random text. That's the essence of games of this genre. I like them. I like them a lot. But we now have some milk. Perhaps the snake wants some milk, perhaps not. Over here, we have a mouse in the hole. 
Hmm, hey mouse, want some milk? Nope. Okay, and one vampire is in this deal right here who's not coming out because vampire. Now, at some point, you'll get a prompt here, right, for the vampire. And you can offer him things to cheer him up, but I'm not there just yet. And here in the middle is locked. And the one down on the bottom is locked. So you can see how things advance and things, you know, you walk around, you poke around, you prod around, and eventually you find things to interact with in certain ways to solve certain puzzles. So, this is Life's Too Short. It is $1 on ish.io, link in the description. I think it's neat, and I'm going to keep playing it, even if it currently I can't save my game, but once you play through the things once, you kind of know what each and every puzzle does. And this guy right here will actually give you clues. So, hey, I need help with that snake. So, he's a hungry snake. But yes, eventually you do find cheese, and you get the rat to, you know, get that cheese, and then you blend the rat. Yes, that's right, you blend the rat. It is a horror game after all. So, that is Life's Too Short. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.